generations. I've heard that people call these a fish of a thousand casts, so sometimes that's how many casts you have to make to catch one. On a day like today, this is about as good as it gets, finding yourself on a river with a reel in your hand. We're just out to have a little fun and hopefully we can get one to bite. Gary Keaton has been fishing the Skykomish for decades, and he says the fish aren't biting like they used to. The salmon and steelhead runs are pretty small now, though. It's not like 20 years ago. Last year was a record low year. This year, the numbers are even, uh, the situation's more dire than even last year. But this year, because of a statewide rule change at the Department of Fish and Wildlife, the opening day began just about everywhere on Memorial Day weekend. But according to Snohomish County PUD, that also meant putting at risk a large portion of steelhead returning to spawn up the Salton River. Close to 20% of the run could potentially be impacted with an early early opener. The PUD had asked the state to delay the opener to give the steelhead a head start, but Fish and Wildlife says the county asked too late. We're not anti-fishing, by no means. The PUD has spent millions on environmental projects along the Sultan River, all to give spawning steelhead a fighting chance. Now the county agency is already in talks with Fish and Wildlife to make sure the next open season takes closer account for the spawning run up the Sultan River. We're looking at um, trying to get something in place for next year. It'll probably mean that we'll uh, get with other like-minded folks and submit a petition to uh, have that changed in the interest of you know, conservation and steelhead recovery. Steelhead is endangered in our waters and is Washington's official fish. Both agencies vow to continue coordinating on when anglers should be able to get a bite of the action as long as steelhead have the advantage. If we keep taking all of our steelhead and salmon away, there's going to be nothing left in another 20 years. In Snohomish County, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.